All right, my skirt steak smells fantastic. I've cooked it for four and a half minutes on one side. I flipped it over four and a half minutes on the other. We have a wonderful char. Uh, and this is for the ultimate fajitas. I know because it's, it's a relatively thin cut, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the grill and let it cool down. If I cut it right now, it would just juice all over the cutting board. And I want a juicy fajita. All right, so we're gonna let these guys rest, let all the meat start to settle. I'm not gonna tint it because it'll have a tendency to steam. They're quite thin, so we're gonna take good care of them. All right, I'll hook that up. Okay, now a fajita is a fajita because of really delicious and juicy peppers and onions, right? So I've got one onion. I got two red peppers I'm gonna chop up. Okay, now I think, I just think green peppers are just, you know, I don't know, I just, I, I don't like the flavor of them. I think sweet peppers taste a lot better because we've got a little bit of chili heat on top of the, the skirt steak with the marinade. So I think a nice sweet caramelized pepper along with some caramelized onions to throw right on top of that to balance the whole thing out. I'll take these guys, chop them up, nice thin strips. Right, and you want everything nice and long on a fajita because we're gonna wrap it up in a flour tortilla. All right, so we wanna kinda keep everything the same shape because we're gonna slice the skirt steak in nice long cuts. All right, you got the peppers cut up in nice long pieces and we're also gonna do the same thing with the onion. Now, I'm not gonna lose out on one opportunity to add a lot of flavor to our fajita, so I'm actually gonna season the onions and the peppers as if I were making a salad. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to this. All right, some salt, fresh cracked pepper, and then we're going back to our old buddy, Mr. Lime. All right, cut that up and just give a nice little simple squeeze. All right, I'm just gonna use the juice of half because I don't wanna make them too wet. But I really wanna brighten the flavor up. Give it a nice toss. We're gonna take them, just put them right on, back on top of our grill. All right, and let it soak up some of that delicious beef flavor. And just let these guys start to caramelize. That lime smells great. All right, so we got that. All right, just so gonna make sure you take a look at your temperature. It's not too hot, not too cold. Okay, and just kind of let them go for a couple minutes. It'll take around 10 minutes. Well, you can really smell that lime juice right away. All right, now I'm serving fajitas. I like to serve warm tortillas. All right, I've got a really good trick for that. I don't have a microwave in my house. Not that I'm a microwave snob or anything. It's just I really don't have room for one. All right, this is how they do it back in the old country in Mexico, right? They take the tortillas and they loosen them up. Okay. And what they do is they kind of put them over an open flame. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at those guys. Make sure they're in good shape. All right, I'm gonna crank open my eyes here. I'm gonna take my tongs and just take the tortillas and just throw them around. And again, we just wanna let them warm up. I'm not looking for any color. All right, the second they get color, uh, they're gonna start to start to become crispy and brittle, and we're not looking for that at all. I just wanna start to soften them up. Perfect. Now see how pliable it becomes? And once you add a little bit of heat to it. All right, this is a cold one. See how stiff it is? All right, and this is a fresh, hot one. Wrap everybody up and just keep them warm and they'll stay warm for a good half an hour. All right, so we got that. Keep this on the back counter as well. All right, now also what I like to do is kind of set up a, a really fun fajita bar. Put some sour cream. Got some good soft Monterey Jack cheese. Some salsa. All right, and we are ready to go. That's set up. All right, the steak is perfect. I want these guys just kind of caramelize, give them a nice little toss. They smell fantastic. I love that really delicious charred pepper and onion flavor. That's gonna be great. And let's talk about these fajitas. All right, I've got warm, soft flour tortillas. All right, I've got some skirt steak. All right, that's so beautiful and perfect and rested and ready to go. All right, it's marinated in chipotle and citrus and garlic and cumin. And it smells fantastic. And it's just like so butter soft. It's awesome. All right, then we're gonna take the whole thing, stack it up right there. Take some of our juicy peppers and onions that are caramelized. All right, throw it right on top. 
I'm gonna add a nice little handful of cheese to let the whole thing get soft and melty. All right, then we got condiments galore. All right, get some fresh dollop of perfect guacamole. Hit it with some beautiful salsa, a little dollop of sour cream. Roll everything up. All right, and that is beautiful and delicious. Mm. Exactly way a really good fajita taste.